Now that we have PHP installed on our computer, let's go ahead and start writing some PHP code. Now, the default file extension for PHP files is .php. Um, another important thing to mention here is that usually the convention is that the first entry point in your application is called index. So I'm going to create a index.php file inside of this folder that I've created inside my computer, PHP Tutorials. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, I'm using the PHP Storm IDE here. If you, go, if you guys don't have that, uh, feel free to use any other text editor that you want. Um, you just need a text editor to write some code and basically that's all that's needed. So I've created an index.php file. Now, I want you guys to recall from my earlier video, um, basically PHP code can be embedded inside of HTML code. So if I had some HTML code here like such, I can go ahead and embed some PHP code inside of it and PHP will process this code, render any output that's needed and then send the resulting HTML back to the browser. But before we go ahead and talk about this, um, actually we can talk about this now. So. To, in order to write any PHP code, we need to first embed this code inside of PHP tags. So the way that we do that is the opening angle brackets followed by a question mark, followed by PHP, and then to end this PHP code, we're going to write question mark again, followed by the closing angle brackets. And now any code inside of here is going to be parsed by PHP. Uh, but let's ignore this HTML for a second and write just some PHP code here. Now, in this lesson, we're going to look at how to print something to the screen. And there's two ways to do that in PHP. You can use the echo function or you can use the print function. So following the computer science convention, we're going to print hello world to the screen. So I'm going to write echo followed by these two opening and closing uh, quotation marks and inside I will write hello world. Now to run any PHP program on the console you simply write PHP and by the way guys this is just a terminal that is embedded inside my IDE. Um, if you guys are using a different text editor simply open up a uh, terminal and then you can go ahead and write your commands here. Um, I just find this way to be more convenient, so I'm going to do that. So PHP and then write the name of your PHP file. So here it's called index.php. So I'm going to press enter and we can see that hello world got printed to the screen, um, but it's also giving me, uh, it's not uh, echoing a new line so let's go ahead and do that too actually so I'm going to put in a new line character and in PHP you can simply write uh, forward slash n sorry backslash n and that's basically telling PHP to not read n as a literal character um, and it's going to basically print a new line uh, with this character so now if we run this script, we can see that it printed hello world followed by a new line and now this is my uh, terminal input waiting for my command again. But if you guys recall from my earlier video, we said the PHP is especially well suited for web development. Now, how can we take this program and run it on the web? Well, we have several options here, but uh, what's actually required is something called a web server. Now, a web server basically allows you to take the HTTP requests from the browser and process them and then respond accordingly. It's something that just understands how an HTTP request works. So, we have several options to do that. There's a lot of um, web servers that you can download online. Uh, for Mac, we have MAMP. Um, there's a whole bunch of other ones, Apache, Nginx, uh, 
But for the basics here, we're just going to use a web server that comes built in with PHP. So you don't need to install anything extra. Simply run the PHP web server that comes uh, pre-installed with PHP. And the way to run that is you write PHP, then a space, and then you write dash capital S followed by the domain that you're going to run this on. So we're going to use localhost. This resolves to your local IP or 127.0.0.1. We then uh, uh, write this colon and then you specify the port number that this uh, web server will be listening on. So we're going to listen on port 8080 and then hit enter. And then you're going to get something that uh, an output like this. So we have started the PHP development server and it's listening on this address. So if I click this um, on over here, you can see that it's opened up this uh, our Hello World program. And basically what's happening here is that our browser is sending a request to localhost on port 8080. Our PHP development server is listening on localhost port 8080. And we can see that it sent a get request. Uh, don't worry about if you don't understand what that is. We're going to go into much more detail about this. But simply just try to understand the idea here. Um, so the browser sent the request here. The PHP web server was listening inside of this directory. And it responded with index.php. Now, an important thing to mention here is that usually the browser, this so this echo hello world is not properly formatted HTML string. Um, in order to have a proper valid HTML, it needs to be surrounded by HTML tags and head and body, but the browser is smart enough and it tries to auto uh, complete that. If we actually inspect the element or if we, yep, we can see that the browser auto completed um, the required HTML tags and it just printed hello world our, pro, our uh, output here. Uh, now in reality you wouldn't do anything like this you would send proper HTML to the browser uh, but for the point of this video it was just to print something to the screen and we have we did it we did that in two ways we uh, we sent a request from the browser and we saw our output and we also did that from the command line by running PHP and then followed by index.php which is then running our program. Alright guys, so hope you like this video. In the next video we'll go into more details about um, variables and things like that. So thanks for watching.